Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation of social media and online learning. My name is Myrna Melly Ortiz. Mobile learning. Mobile learning is the way that students are learning in 2020. COVID-19 has changed the way that learning is performed. In order for regular programming to continue and learning the use of social media and technology, it's extremely important to support student learning. This is an example of mobile learning. It explains how it is flexible and engages the students in the presence is important because of the convenience that students have now to do mobile learning from home. And this is actually a figure taken from an article. These are some of the platforms that students can use to communicate with instructors using these social medias and technologies, Canvas, Facebook to communicate with their peers. They can actually create groups and Zoom for virtual meetings and Blackboard is another form of Canvas. And social media, well, the definition of social media is internet-based channels that allow users to opportunistic interact and selectively self-present either in real time or asynchronously with both broad and narrow audiences who derive value from user-generated content and the perception of interaction with others. And this is actually a quote taken from a article. And moving on to YouTube, another form of social media used in online learning. YouTube is a free platform available for everyone on a smartphone. I'm sure we all have downloaded on our smartphones. It is a great tool to use in the classroom. Students can engage in educational YouTube videos. There are a wide variety change of YouTube videos available in different languages, subjects, and closed captions. According to Pew Research Center, YouTube is the only other platform measure that matches Facebook's reach at 73% of adults report using the video sharing site. And the learning formats, how to incorporate YouTube in the classroom. Discussion forums are a great way to spark up conversation about a YouTube video. It allows users to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the video content for more. Students have a platform to post YouTube videos and create content for projects in class such as, and it's also a great outlet to be creative. YouTube videos can easily be shared and posted on any platform such as Canvas, Blackboard, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. YouTube videos are a great source for engaging video content at any lecture or presentation. And virtual reality videos can be found on YouTube for free. Students can experience 360 movements on YouTube, and this is actually an example of a roller coaster. And virtual reality headsets can be expensive, so what a better way to experience it for free on YouTube. Social media is a free and allows for learning to be distributed to students as a form of entertainment. And I'll play this one here. Amazing roller coaster rides on 360 degree interactive. The second coaster is inspired by Batman, and another one by Jurassic World. And now, fasten your seatbelt and enjoy five different coaster experiences. It is for free, and there is no queue. How great is this? Tutoring videos. Math tutoring videos are convenient for students that need tutoring online now that distance learning teachers are not able to meet face to face. Students can rely on YouTube to utilize free tutoring videos at their own convenience. And this is actually a physics section. And students can get video tutoring lessons on there. And some YouTube channels that students can utilize. For Quash Course, it's actually a great way for students to interact. It has history, biology, and even psychology lessons for students with more than 11.4 million subscribers. Crash Course is known for their historical videos, vibrant illustrations, and humors to keep the viewers informed and entertained. And this is the Crash Course YouTube trailer. Welcome to Crash Course. This is a YouTube channel, and on it, we upload educational videos. My brother John and I started this channel with the goal of helping students and teachers with world history and biology, but then we grew. We brought in new hosts to help us teach and expanded to subjects like chemistry, literature, psychology, film, sociology, physics. And Khan Academy is a STEM YouTube channel tutoring students in subjects such as math, science, computing, and economics. And this is a math lesson.
familiar with the relationship between multiplication and division. For example, we know that 3 times 6 is equal to 18. But another way to... And Pinterest, moving on to Pinterest. Pinterest is a free application tool that teachers and students can utilize in learning formats for the classroom. Pinterest is also a great tool for online learning. Pinterest allows teachers and students to create boards, share ideas, and create group boards for all students. And some of the learning formats that Pinterest can be utilized, it's for brainstorming. Students can use Pinterest for ideas in their topic area, gain inspiration from the resources, images, and websites. Creating a board on Pinterest is easy and allows students to look back on their favorite ideas. Virtual field trips can actually be taken on Pinterest. You can actually research what place you would like to research, maybe such as pictures, such as Australia, and you can create a board with that place. Pinterest is a great research tool to learn about different places to visit, such as national parks, volcanoes, and museums. And group projects. Working on a project with classmates requires brainstorming, and Pinterest is a great tool for that. By creating a group board, everyone can add ideas, create pins, while exchanging feedback. Students working together on a group project and using social media allows them to explore and learn social skills of how it is working with others. And these are my references. Thank you so much for watching.